Okay, I am back. I am composed. It's been a very ah, emotionally charged morning. Um, so yeah, I don't even know if I mentioned in this in the beginning of the last video. But so this is off of the heels of Mount Shasta. I had a day to enjoy and have a wonderful time. And then I woke up today and it was like, this is the official first day post Mount Shasta. And I knew I needed to take a bath. My back was really tight. Um, my hips were sore. I know I overdid it, but in the bath, I was reminded that, no, I just had to stop walking, get back to Newport and get in the bathtub so I can like, the word that I, I don't use enough and I should for people who don't, my peers and I, we speak in a different space, but people hear stuff like clairvoyance or clairaudience. When I was young, I used to see like things happen very, very young. And then when they would happen, it was like no big deal. I just assumed we all could do this. But you know, a lot of us have a lot of special abilities the younger we are because we're not tainted by life yet. And so this happened a few times. And then, and then my life got bad and all that good stuff went away. And so now that I've like unkinked all of my hoses and I'm back in the space where I can just, you know, be open and I'm in surrender and I just receive like what's coming through me, whatever, what I need to know. And the way I describe it to make sense to me that I hope makes sense to you is it's not like this, I'm channeling like this, you know, Moses or anything like that. It's like I've, with, with my life, I've done everything I came here to do. I checked all the boxes. I went through all of the hard stuff I had to go through. And so it's like, I won, ding, and I get to ring the bell. But it's like, I have opened all the channels to my, we are like so much more than our physical bodies. There's so much more to us. We couldn't fit all of our energy in here or we would explode. And so all around me is me. It's like, there's so much of me. But so now the middleman that had to check, had I've opened myself up to talk directly, to hear directly from my higher self. That's how I know the stuff that I know. That's how I follow guidance. I don't ponder, Google, make to-do lists. I just say, what's up, doc? <laughs> um, just like, take me. And that's how I've been in surrender for so long. And that is what gets you the good stuff. Just like not making lists, not thinking of the stuff that you think you need to do while you're on this planet, because none of that really matters. It's just surrendering to the guidance you get every day that is that thing in your gut that's telling you what you need to do, but you keep thinking, no, 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 I got to shut this off. I've got to go back here to my brain and think I've got to ego it. I've got to, and then that's where we send, I want to cuss. I'm going to try not to, um, not that kids hear this stuff. <sighs> anyway, I lost my train of thought. We've got to get out of our heads. And that's what I do. I live out of my head. And that's why I go directly to my higher self. And that's how I'm guided to everything that I do, to the people that I meet, <clears throat> um, to everything. I'm guided by something so much more than this human body. And we all have that ability. <laughs> we do. We also do. So now I'm open. I hear stuff and I get guidance. So this is how I live in this higher space. So I just want to get that out there to hopefully, I'm trying to explain it in the terms that people can understand because you hear of people who are psychic, they're mediums, they're clairvoyant, they're clairaudient. There's zillions of people with special talents and abilities. We all have the ability to do any of this stuff. And it just opens for different people in different ways. And I am just where I am. But... <sighs> This journey has brought me to some incredible spaces. And when I first moved here to Newport, so many miracles. One of the things that came through me that I was going to do to try and show people the light, show them the way, going to turn this heat down. Okay, so as I was telling my friend Dominic, I was going to show people the way how to, without any kind of anything outside of my house and the crap I already have in it, I'm going to reverse aging. I was thinking if the, if anything would have people start paying attention to what we do at this space to where we believe only what we know, people like me who do not live from a belief system, we just, we know what we know and we know what is real and we don't have any limiting beliefs like whatsoever. Um, none. I mean, nothing. There's no limiting beliefs. There's no limits. That's why we don't have them. So when you live from this space, you know, you could do anything. And as Esther Hicks says with Abraham Hicks, like you can regrow limbs. If you believed it, 
you could regrow limbs. And I know this. So it came to me when I was looking in the mirror one day and I had like a Q-tip and I'm like going like this in my eyes, like, oh, I hate these saggy bags. I had like right here, I had these like chicken skin. It was really gross. And I'm like, these look old. I'm like, I don't like these. And so I pretty much said, I'm like, all right, I'm going to turn back time. I'm going to get rid of those. That was the first goal. I'm like, I want to get rid of those. And so, and I mentioned this to my sister in a phone call. I'm like, I'm going to turn back aging. I'm like, I need to, I want to get rid of this chicken skin that's hanging here. What do they call that? I think it's a nasty word. Nothing. That, <laughs> anyway, it was gross. So this was, I mean, all of a sudden I moved in here and over time, I started noticing in that area, like here, and then in this area here, like little dry skin patches started showing up. And I just was like, whatever. And I even took like Neosporin and a Q-tip and I would just dab it on there. And, and then I would tell my sister, I'm like, I'm getting these weird skin, dry skin patches. Like I'm, you know, I think I'm reversing my aging. And so it is happening. It was happening. And then I, out of the blue, this guy, I love him to the moon and back. <clears throat> My dear friend, Dominic calls me and it's like, we catch up and it's magical. It's like, we're both on these evolutionary cosmic universal paths and we're both open and we're in surrender. We're receiving, we're just like more, 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 more. We have no limits and no fears out of the blue. He calls me and we have not talked in a long time. And I tell him, no, before this, it hit me that, well, this is really cool that I'm doing this, that I'm taking back years off of my face and who am I doing it for? And it's like, and I'm, I'm, so I'm thinking doing this is going to have people come find this elixir that I have. And I know I've done this in another video, but I'm getting to a point that they're going to, they're going to want to find this elixir, this thing that I have, and they want, they'll have what she's having. They'll want what I'm doing. And it hit me how icky that felt. Like, I don't want people coming to me from that space. It's like, I don't want your ego. I slipped into my ego, obviously. And then Dominic called. And so I tell him this story and Dom, he's just like, Carrie. Dom, I love you if I haven't told you that a million times. Dominic said, Carrie, it doesn't. Here I go again. <laughs> it doesn't matter what brings them to the water. I don't know his exact words, but that's what he basically said. Because once they get to the well, it's like, I mean, then we all have choices, don't we? Like they see how easy it is by thought for me to do this. And what can thought, what can they do with thought to reverse anything in their body? anything absolutely anything and so dominic brought me this gift and it was like thank you and so i really hadn't given it a second thought but my life just goes on and i've noticed i'm like looking in the mirror lately and i'm this man that i'm seeing he just like I think he's joking with me because we have this joke going between us about age. He's like, just going like, are you old enough to live in a 55 plus park? Like they, they, they're, you know, they saw some false talk and it's just like, he's being flattering and complimentary. But then again, it's like, I don't know what he really believes because those, those things, those bags are gone and it's getting better. It's like, I've decided like, what do I want to do next? What do I want to play with? Because I just don't even have to think about it. It's just like, I see it the way I want to see it. I can manifest it because I want it because it's what I choose, what I prefer. And that's why people are going to want to know how I do this, but it's all so easy. I just made the decision and I already decided long ago, I'm not going to age. Like, why would I choose that? It's like, my legs are hot. I'm sorry. I was just on the trail hiking in Mount Shasta. And this woman goes by and go, girl. Yeah, I mean, she's like, you legs. Just like, they're so powerful. They're so hot. And I'm just like, thank you. But because I don't want anything but that, I choose these legs because they've been my legs forever. And I want to keep them that way. 
And it's crazy too for me because I've always seen myself as a fat girl. And anybody who knows me, I've been pretty chunky monkey most of my life. I am not that anymore. I'm pretty tiny, actually. And I haven't even seen that until recently. It's like realizing how my hips were aching from all the hiking. It's like I'm like feeling my hips in the bathtub. I'm like, you're not very wide. But it's weird because I don't do mirrors. It's like I just I don't. I don't see the mirror. I don't care for mirrors recording. I'm looking at the dot. I look at the dot. I don't want to look at me like, hey, how are you doing? I'm not that person. So I'm going to make this one short. This is just about literally, okay. I don't, I mean, I'm not going to, where's my camera? I don't want to do this. Just go look. My challenge is so you can see what I'm talking about. Look at my eyes in this video. Okay, I'll look up. I'll look down. Close, raised eyebrows. Look, especially with them not raised. Can you zoom in? Because I'm not getting any close with my eyes closed. Um, the look in there, right in there, like in the quarters, just the skin there. Go back to old videos and check out that chicken skin. And then look at this chicken skin. I'm not making this stuff up. So wrapping this baby up. And there's so much more I got to share. And so hang tight. Another one's on the way. It's this crazy freaking day, crazy day, but more is coming through and we're just getting started.